हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू अवर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फ्रॉम एल पी एम पब्लिक स्कूल सिचुएटेड एट गोला बाजार गोरखपुर दिस इज योर साइंस टीचर सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम हियर विथ एक्सरसाइजेस ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन वाटर सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर you had learned about sources of water storage of water drinking water and saving water now students let's come to the exercises based on this chapter let's remember answer the following questions orally orally so students here you have to answer the following questions orally name three sources of water so students the sources three sources of water are rain water rivers and lakes now let's come to the question number second is water or lakes fit is water from lakes fit for drinking no water from lakes are not is not fit for drinking because water from lakes may not always be clean now let's come to the third question how should we store drinking water so students to store drinking water you should you you should store clean water in closed container how can we kill jumps in the drinking water so students by boiling the drinking water we kill jumps in the drinking water now students here two keywords are given rain water the water we get from rain is called rain water the second keyword is ground water the rain water that seeps into the ground is known as ground water now students let's read the summary of this chapter water is used for drinking cooking bathing cleaning washing and many other things so my dear students as you know that we use water for many purposes like drinking cooking bathing cleaning washing and many other things rain water fills ponds lakes streams and rivers the rain water that seeps into the ground is known as ground water so students this is the definition of ground water we dig wells and hand pumps to get un- to get ground water so students to get ground water we dig wells and hand pumps drinking water can sorry drinking dirty water can make us ill we should keep clean water in closed containers we should not waste water now let's come to the exercises question number a write t for true and f for the false statement we get water from rain so this statement is true so here you have to write t we can 
use ground water ground water by digging wells this statement is also true so here you have to write t we should drink water directly from lakes and rivers so this statement is false because water from lakes and rivers may not always be clean sure so this statement is false you have to write f dirty water does not contain germs so students dirty water always contain germs so this statement is false you have to write t uh, sorry f let's come to the fifth statement we should store clean drinking water in open containers this statement is also false because we should store clean drinking water in closed containers now let's come to the question number b choose the correct option which of the following activities need water your options are bathing reading washing clothes or both a and c so students we need water for bathing and washing clothes so here our answer will be option number d both a and c let's come to the second one which of these is not a source of water so students as you know that lake river and canal are source of water so here the option number c park is not a source of water let's come to the third one water that seeps into the ground is called ground water option number b you have to take the option number b ground water let's come to the fourth one which of these do we use to store water so students we use bucket tank and drum to store water so here uh, our answer will be option number d that is all of these now let's come to the fifth question the stored water can be used to so students the stored water can be used to water plants clean floors bath so here option number d is correct all of this let's come to the question number 6 drinking dirty water can make us so students you know very well drinking dirty water can make us ill the seventh one is how can one kill the germs in drinking water so students to kill the germs in drinking water we have to boil the drinking water so here option number a by boiling it is the correct option let's come to the question number c give two examples of the following now students here you have to give two examples for the following the first one is sources of water so the sources of water is rain and river you have to fill rain in the first blank and river in the second blank the second one is things to store water so we use tank and bucket to store water you have to fill tank in the first blank and bucket in the second blank now the third one is ways to save water so by making rain storage tank and pond we we can save water so you have to fill rain storage tank in the first blank and pond in the second blank 
now your exercise a b and c is completed now the remaining exercises of this chapter we will done in the next video till then stay safe stay healthy and stay at your home thank you students bye and take care